and welcome back to Jacob's Toys 5 Minute Figure Reviews. Please like, share, subscribe and all of those things. All support to the channel is always very much appreciated. So in this review we are taking a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Master of Disguise Zartan figure. And this of course is the Hasbro Pulse exclusive figure that was revealed at the Hasbro Pulse Con 2021 and I have to say a huge thank you to Hasbro Pulse for sending this guy over to me ahead of the con um, and I'm really excited to have a look at him and open him up and see what this guy is all about. So let's not waste any time and get straight into it because there is so much to unpack. So straight away he comes with his backpack that opens up and you can put the little face masks in there but I'm getting ahead of myself because I've not even shown you the face masks yet so let's actually pause that for a second so there's his backpack. Um, you get this face mask, you get three in total so you get like a normal one uh, one with a moustache and an old man one. You also get this really cool kind of skull mask that goes over the top with a strap on the back. You also get a storm shadow head like there. You also get a snake eyes head as well. And what else we got? You also get a hood that's got a really nice kind of like molded headpiece in. You get the hood to go around his neck if he's not wearing it. You get this nice pistol. You also get this knife. Uh, and not to mention this really cool um, quiver that looks really quite smart. Obviously you get a bow because he's got a quiver. Um, and then last but not least you get this really awesome looking sniper rifle that I'll take a little look at a little bit later. Um, but yeah this guy is full of accessories. So going back to this backpack. This is the backpack where he keeps his his masks, his face masks, so you can fit one of those in there at a time and it fits in really snug um, and then you can put the front back on but it's a really really nice fit, there's no kind of forcing or pushing, it fits in there really nicely. So taking a look at the figure itself, the articulation is really good, all the kind of points of articulation you'd expect from a 6 inch figure, uh, it's all pinless which is a nice little touch and the detail on him is really cool, I can't see any faults in the paint applications um, the details on his boots and his uh, his kind of thigh pieces are all really nice. Um, he's a really cool figure. I'm not going to lie, he is a really decent figure. Um, so there's the hood. You can just pop that round so then his hood's kind of down. Um, but that's not how I'm going to display him. Let's be honest, I want to use this, this hood that goes up. Um, but let's have a look at this mask first. Let's see if I can get that on. Okay, it's got a little bit cold in the box, so it's quite stiff and I don't want to damage him. So I think I'll come back to that in a bit. I'll warm it up a little bit and have a look at something else because that is only going to go on if I force it. But you apply a little bit of heat to that and it will soften up and be easy to put on him. Um, yeah, it's not going to go on properly at the moment. But that's not a problem. Not a problem at all. I'll heat that up and I'll have a look at it in a minute. So the hood, as I said, has got like a moulded piece in it. So it clips on. So it stays in place and it stays where it should be. Which is a really nice touch for a for an additional kind of hood piece. I've not seen this before on some of the other figures. But it means that it sits exactly where it's intended. Which is such a nice touch. Um... Let me just heat that uh, strap up as well. Um, but that's probably how I'm going to display him with the hood up because that's how I remember the figure, that's how I remember the character um, from back in the day with the, the smaller G.I. Joe figures that I had. Um, so let's just pop that off. So you can see there it took a little bit to actually pop it off. Now there's a moulded nose piece here so there's no denying where that fits. Um, and I can't I can't quite get the hood on with the straps there as well. Um, but I'm sure if I mess around with it, you'll be able to. But if you just have a look, it fits on the face really nicely. The nose goes into the nose hole. It's just really well in engineered, really well designed and really well engineered. There's a lot of thought that's gone into it. These face plates, they just literally snap on and they look, in, they look like they should. Um, and then you can put the hood on and the hood clips over so you can't see the lines of the face plate, which is really cool and speaks to the character massively because he's the master of disguise. Um, it, it really does change his appearance. Um, let's put the older one on. Now I do apologise, I'm not massively up on my G.I. Joes, so if these face plates are somebody specific, then please do let me know in the comments below. Um, but it just changes appearance straight away, which is a really, really cool thing. Um, let's have a look. The quiver just pops on his back there. There's a peg hole in his back. The quiver goes on, and then obviously his bow as well. And these, this is a really nice bow and arrow set. Um, obviously I've got lots of Marvel Legends that use bows and arrows, and this is by far the nicest bow and arrow that I've got in 6 inch from from Hasbro. I really hope the Marvel Legends team kind of use this design because it's really nice. Um, so if I take that off I can clip on his backpack that as I said the face plate stays in there nicely. Um, he's got a little sheath at the back here that you can slide his knife into as well. Uh, just, just get it the right way around and that just pushes in as so and it's a snug fit. It fits nicely but there's no over forcing. 
this is a really cool figure. Now, I'm not massive on my G.I. Joes, and it's a figure I've kind of debated going back to, a line that I've debated going back to. But I think that this Zartan figure has completely sold me on the line. So I'm definitely going to be looking at picking up some more Joes now. Um, there he is with a Storm Shadow head on, so you can change it. Not my favourite, but obviously Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow are two iconic characters, so it's really cool to have their heads there. And that's not all. That's not all. Watch this. Put him in the freezer for 20 minutes, and all of a sudden, he goes blue. It, it just doesn't stop with this guy. So replicating what the figure did back in the day, the old figure, um, he obviously changes colour if you put him in the freezer. Now, because he is cold, like I can rub my finger over that's obviously warm, and it takes him back to kind of flesh tone, but then the blue creeps back in. Um, how long he stays blue, I don't know. It depends on the temperature of the room. Um, I've gone over my five minutes, but I've got to carry on just for a second because this guy is hands down what an exclusive should be. Oh, and I forgot the, the sniper rifle as well. The sniper rifle is really, really cool. A uh, little flip up and down stand there as well. But it ticks all the boxes of what an exclusive figure should be, so do go and pick one up. Please do like, share, subscribe for more 5-Minute Figure Reviews, and I will catch you very soon.